Good evening, guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I hopped on. That is how busy life has gotten. Um, and I'll do a separate video on the life update here in another couple of weeks when I have some more time. Um, but I'm hopping on here tonight uh, to get something off my chest. And I say tonight to get it off my chest because if I don't get this off of my chest while it's fresh, I'm going to blink um, on it during the next video. Um, so, like I said, um, it is just after 8 o'clock. I am sitting in the car in my driveway. I just got home from work. Um, which brings me to the topic of this discussion. When you are at work you are a representation or you're tasked with being a representation of the company um, regardless of whether or not you are dealing face to face with customers um, that being said um, with my type of employment I work in a call center um, and so we are, I am on the phones for all, but I did the math today. I am on the phones for all, but an hour, um, a day. And when you are on the phones, you are on a recorded line. Now, Unless you have, like I do, I have a mute button on my headset, which allows me to turn my, essentially turn my microphone off to outgoing sound um, when I'm not on a call. That means that I can have full on conversations with my coworkers while we're not on a call and I don't have to worry about higher ups listening in uh, because they can if you don't have a mute button the higher ups do have the ability to listen in to the office chatter um, so they can kind of stay abreast as to what's happening in the office you know they they have the ability to listen in on live calls um it's how we're scored on our qas or our uh, quality assurance um points that's how we get those points they listen into the live calls and then they score them um but unless you as a CSR actually have a mute button that you are pressing every time you end a call with a policyholder or a customer shop, an agent, what have you, you really need to watch what you say, especially if you have the mic down by your mouth. Um, I say this because while I was at work this evening, um, there was a group of CSRs um, sitting in the row over from me. And whilst I'm not on the call, I'm kind of, you know, watching my team team chat, watching my, my stats, watching my numbers. Um, I can hear this conversation going on. And this conversation was being had by uh, multiple CSRs. Um, and in the conversation, they were talking about, uh, the topic of conversation came to whether or not an individual chose to identify as a certain gender or the other. Okay, fine. Believe what you want to believe. I don't have a problem with that. But that is not a topic of conversation that should be discussed in the office. If you want to have that conversation and you want to discuss that topic, because it started to get pretty heated. Like, I was, like, about to get up and go actually speak to the supervisor because I didn't like what I was hearing. It was it was making me feel very uncomfortable. Um, not that, like I said, not that I have any problem with it, but it was just making me feel uncomfortable that they were, that that was being so openly expressed in the office I don't care if you express you know your opinions on matters like that outside of the office when you're not on the clock when you're not at 
at the mercy of whether or not A, is a supervisor going to call you because they're hearing this? Or B, God forbid the building supervisor walk around the building and hear this? Um, that could get us all in trouble. But... Um, and mind you, the, the co the coworkers or colleagues that were discussing this topic, um, let it openly slip in office that they are all openly, um, either gay or lesbian. Um, now... Like I said, I don't have a problem if they wanted to discuss it outside of work, not in the office, not on company property. Uh, meaning, if you're going to discuss it, go out for drinks after work. Throw a dinner party on a day whenever, you know, when you and that um, that particular colleague are off or something. But don't discuss it at work where you, because you never know who's going to hear this and be kind of, uncomfortable and cringing in their seat at this conversation that's why they say certain things are not to be discussed at work um the other topic that I have heard being floated around at work is how much money certain CSRs are making versus other CSRs um and I'll, I'll go into my particular position um, in a different video, but, like, there's just certain topics of conversation that are off limits for a reason in a place of business and should remain off limits for that particular location. Just, um, I guess the moral of this video is you never really know who's listening or who could be listening to a conversation. So be very careful with what you say in your place of business. All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I do have tomorrow and this coming Sunday off. So I may hop on one of those two days to do that life update video. But this was just a quick I need to vent to get this off my chest type of video. So I will... Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.